Kenta Maeda pitching in a major league game for the first time tonight since August 21st of 2021. That is 591 days between outings for Kenta Maeda. He looked great in this one. Uh, made one bad mistake that he paid for on a solo home run to Avisel Garcia. Other than that, uh, looked pretty great. Kenta Maeda, five innings pitch, three hits, one run, no walks. Nine strikeouts, no walks, and nine strikeouts. Again, in his first Major League outing in 591 days, uh, Maeda had 17 swinging strikes. So we're seeing a lot of his strikeouts here going through the highlights. 17 swinging strikes on 79 pitches in this one. Very impressive. And, I mean, we know how hard this guy is to strike out. Luis Arise got him to strike out. So that's how you know his stuff was working really well. Uh, looked really good with the slider here, that split change, which of course kind of became his signature pitch in 2020, especially for the Twins, uh, looking good. Um, him and Vasquez seem to be working real well and showing some emotion as well, Kenta, in this one, especially at the end of the fifth inning, we'll see. Uh, strikes out the side in the fifth inning and ends with kind of a big uh, show of emotion back towards center field to end it. You could tell this guy was feeling it, and as you would expect, as you would expect. Uh, having not pitched again in 591 games between Major League outings. Here is that moment of emotion from Kenta. Love it. Love it. Let out some steam. That's got to feel so good uh, to be back out there. Unfortunately, he goes back out to start the sixth inning. He doesn't last too long. Uh, they spot him kind of shaking his arm. Uh, trainer comes out. Rocco comes out. And they just decide, you know, enough is enough. And Kenta came out of the game at that point, turned it over to the bullpen. So Maeda was obviously the big story for the Twins, but unfortunately, he matched up against Sandy Alcantara, the unanimous choice for National League Cy Young last year, and the Twins uh, didn't put up a whole much of a fight against him. You know, this certainly wasn't, uh, they didn't run the same lineup out again that they'd been running out each game. Uh, Buxton had a day off, you know, Max Kepler's a little bit banged up, we'll see what uh, becomes of that knee injury he sustained the other day. Um, so there was, you know, Willie Castro out in left field. There was Donovan Solano at DH. So not as familiar of a lineup against, again, a guy who's just an absolute monster in Alcantara. And they made pretty quick work of the Twins. Made pretty quick work of the Twins. A complete game shutout from Sandy Alcantara. Uh, so not, no, really no, no offensive highlights uh, to share for you. Uh, the Twins collect just three hits in this one. Um, again, though, the pitching staff, and it wasn't just Kenta, uh, pretty much went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Uh, again, Kenta Maeda left one, grooved one to Avisail Garcia. He hit that thing a mile. That was a really bad pitch. Uh, one big mistake, and that's, that's what cost the Twins in this one. Uh, but Emilio Pagan uh, shockingly came in when uh, Maeda had to come out, and he covered two innings of this game. He shut out the Marlins for two innings. Uh, held that 1-0 deficit, uh, and then Giovanni Moran pitched the final inning for the Twins. Um, so, you know, those guys were three shutout innings out of the bullpen. Uh, great to see in this one. Too bad the Twins couldn't pull it off, but Kenta Maeda, again, he, he exited this game with an apparent injury. Um, I'm obviously no doctor, trainer, whatever, but to me, I, I, it didn't look like there was much to be too concerned about. Um, Kenta stayed in the dugout. Um, which if a guy is kind of seriously injured, usually they're, they've got him in the trainer's room or maybe even are already running imaging on him. I don't know. Uh, usually you just don't see that if a guy has a big injury uh, that he's back out sitting in the dugout. Um, you know, don't read too much into that either way, um, but I, I felt like it was a good sign. Um, you know, he certainly didn't look all that... Uh, all that disheartened coming off the mound. And at 79 pitches in the sixth inning, again, the guy's first outing in forever. Um, even though he did was ramped up from, from spring, um, he had a full spring in camp with the team. Um, you know, it, it just seemed like uh, they just figured why even bother pushing this any farther. Let's let's get him out there. and hope, So hopefully it's nothing to, to be too concerned about. We'll, we'll learn more about Kenta Maeda, though, I'm sure, quick they're obviously going to be very careful with him though um so i could see you know even if it's not anything to be too concerned about um if they just uh, send him over to the 15 day il and, and bring up bailey ober and just say hey let's just let's just roll with ober for a couple weeks give kenta some time off 
situation to keep an eye out on. But, you know, well, fingers crossed that uh, that isn't necessary and we see Kenta back out there uh, taking his next turn in the rotation. Because, again, he looked he looked tremendous. He looked so good. Um, coming into this spring, you know, I, I thought there was probably a decent chance we would never see him pitch in the major leagues again. Again, it's been 591 days on a regular Tommy John recovery. Um, and they were talking about this last year at one point, you know, maybe that he would return at the end of last year, maybe to help out the bullpen. Um, but that was not meant to be. His velo just did, it was way down uh, when he got back to throwing again. He just couldn't ramp up. Um, so there's a lot of mystery there. And to see him go out in his first outing of the year, get nine strikeouts, no walks, 17 swinging strikes in five innings. I understand the Marlins uh, don't have the most formidable lineup out there, but uh, got to love that, especially coming from the fifth starter. So uh, in case you missed it, we would usually roll into some Saints highlights now. The Saints game, which was meant to be played in St. Paul, was postponed. Uh, hopefully they can play tomorrow. Um, the Twins opener, which was scheduled for Thursday, has been pushed back to Friday. There's a pretty dramatic difference in the weather forecast between those two days. So, um, you know, I'm sure if you you had plans to go to the game, you'd seen that by now. But I thought it was good on the Twins to make that call this early, allow people to you know change their plans if they can. Obviously, unfortunate for people if it was going to work out Thursday and not Friday, but. Uh, that's the realities of, of trying to play baseball outside of Minnesota. You know, what can you do? So <laughs> thanks for checking this out. Thank you so much to all the channel members for sponsoring this video and all the videos on the channel. Here are the premium members. If you're interested in joining up, there is that join button down where you'd usually see the subscribe button. We'll talk again soon.